times they are changing. A lot of acquisitions happening in the marketplace. Multiple shop owners are picking up new locations. With that comes change in policy, comes change in procedure, and of course change in manpower. We've had some manpower uh, changes ourselves. Uh, first, Dan Jacobson. Dan, welcome aboard. Thanks, glad to be here. Dan's part of our marketing team. He is our marketing manager and communications director. So that's why he's joining us today, uh, so that he can help you folks get familiarized with their emotive. We have an interesting scenario here today. We have a harness assembly that's been badly damaged and repaired in the field. It was sent to us because there were a lot of electrical issues with this car after these repairs were done. We're going to have Dan walk you through some key elements of this harness assembly that need to be addressed. So you can see this is our first damaged area here. This violates one of our main rules, the six wire rule. You can go to our website under the training tab and go to the videos to learn more about this rule and how it affects your harness. Second thing we have here violates another rule of ours, which is the six inch rule. You can also learn about that on our website. Now that Dan has pointed out some key elements of this harness assembly that definitely need to be rectified, let me give you an idea of what we did to help the situation uh, for this customer. We had a harness assembly in stock, a perfect part number match uh, for this customer. So we were able to take that harness assembly and box it and ship it right away off the shelf ready to go. But we still needed this person's core in order to make that happen. But why do they need to send in the core? Uh, that's a really good question because we do get that a lot. Why do we need a core? Why do we need something that's this badly damaged? Well, over a period of time, when we have the opportunity, we go back and we recondition these harness assemblies so that the next customer has another on the shelf, ready to go wire harness assembly with the same identical part number. Let's take a look at the harness that we're now going to be shipping back to the customer that has had these situations rectified. This harness assembly was a win-win-win. The customer won because this harness is obsolete. They would not have been able to get a replacement from the OE. The shop won because they maintained or retained a customer and they were able to get the vehicle back on the road. And thirdly, Aeromotive won, right? I mean, absolutely, because we reprocessed the harness assembly and plus we have a core to recondition and put back in inventory for the next customer. And it looks like, Dan, you're also ready to cover the warranty too. Absolutely. Absolutely. In every box that leaves our facility, you'll find two things. The first is our 12 and 12 warranty. What does this mean? It means that your customer has the protection of knowing that their reprocessed assembly is guaranteed for 12 months or 12,000 miles. That warranty covers miswiring, corrosion, retention, and pin position. Along with that, you'll also find a copy of our 100% guarantee. This assures you that the item shipped to your client has a perfect OEM part number match. Another win. So we ended up with four, right? Win, 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 win. Dan, I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And make sure you check out our webpage and other training videos at aeromotive.us. Also, don't forget to check us out on our social media sites, Facebook and LinkedIn. And don't forget that we have our mobile site, www.aeromotive.us on your smartphone. You can instantly upload a picture for your convenience.